so proud Arab Muslim they are so proud and then you sit with them mm, America is bad look at California look at it so why you are here go back a bunch of hypocrite cowards they die to come to America they sleep in the street in the front of the embassy to get the visa they do anything to get the citizenship and when they come to America America is bad I hate America this is you know Medina. go back go back you stupid son of Muta who's holding you go back to heaven they will not go when Trump he decided to kick those who have a green card only but they have a crimes everybody start please please our son don't kick him out you know and the son crying please in front of the judge suddenly he's a drug dealer he want to kill everybody around him suddenly he is a decent why hey, please son, I want to be in America please you know this is reality my friend I never saw hypocrite people as much as Middle Eastern hypocrisy is their blood if you test their blood you will find 99.9 like the election in, in the Middle East 99.9 .9 is hypocrisy the one is not hypocrisy is lies they love it And this is not only the Muslims, by the way. I just say to you, Arab Christians is no better. I never saw one Arab, Christian or a Muslim, he is not so proud. About what? I have no idea. You tell me, about what? Police there is corrupt. Judges is corrupt. King is corrupt. President is corrupt. Your sister cannot walk in the street because if she did, a 1,000 men would touch her ass. So you have to have to have to be a guardian with her. If a woman she go in the bus, she will she will, she will come out of the bus. She have a baby already. This is the Middle East. But nobody speak about honor, and nobody speak about dignity, and nobody speak about uh, uh, honesty as they do. But you go in their street, garbage everywhere. You put your laundry in the window, it's gone. But where's my underwear? It's gone. This is why every house in the Middle East have bars. Do you see how much security we have? How much decent people we have? In America, there's no bars. And they say America is bad. And then they say to you, there is a crimes in California. In America, if, if somebody fought, this is a camera, the country have a 300 million. If one of them, he fought, he will be in TV. All the people we have there, it will never be in TV. The truth hurt, my friend. There's a guy, he took a picture of himself when he was six, seven years old, next to a hole in the front of his house. And then he took the same picture when he is 35, 36 years old. Same place, the hole is still there. The same hole in front of his house, still there. Why? You call the company, when you are going to fix it, they will say, Inshallah, we will send our team, Inshallah, to fix it, Inshallah. This is the whole country is run by Allah. That's why the whole country is screwed. The only countries who have a better now because of the money, like Dubai, because the one who run the country is not Inshallah, is the Christians, is the Indian, is the foreigners. <clears throat> go to Chicago uh, trust me Chicago is nothing to compare to the Middle East nothing to compare you have no idea you have no idea in the Middle East over a bird I remember I was a kid over a bird more than 20 people get killed over a bird fight over a bird this is not a drug thing a bird a pigeon chicago oh boy just to show you people you know just to show you how ignorant people here they think a gunfight in chicago can you compare it to the middle east just let, let me let me give you a, just a little bit i will take you around the trip <laughs> Uh, 
Chicago, hein? Hmm. I want to show you what Chicago is about. Do you see this? Do you see those cars with those arms? This is a family. So when two families go in a fight over, over a pigeon, missiles will be used, RBG, 7-Up, 7-Up, huh? Pepsi. You name it. And you are telling me Chicago. What do you know? Chicago. <laughs> oh. Madness. Madness. You want to take a you want to take a look about Chicago, your Chicago. Uh, this is their snack. Uh, here they are dancing, brother. This is their children's. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. You know? <laughs> and this is how real, real people there, this is how they are. If I, if, I, if I show you, you will not believe it, you know? They are naked. They have no shoes. They don't cut their hair. And they have bullet more than their teeth. They are arms to their teeth. And you are telling me, Chicago, go, just go there. Fight with one of them and let me know what will happen. <coughs> Chicago, they are fooling who? Shall I take you to a different country? Shall I take you to Iraq now? Or you want to go to Lebanon? Mr. Chicago. Or you want me to take you to Libya? Or Somalia? Chicago or Afghanistan. This guy, he thinks Chicago is hell. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Arab Christians are the same way, no, but still they are armed too. Like if you go to Lebanon, all Christians are so armed. Like just last year, Last year, a few months ago, uh, when the Shia, they tried to attack a Christian area, you know, they came a couple of hundreds. The Christian, they killed seven Shia. Then they lost zero. So the Shia, Hezbollah, are very armed, very well armed. But the Christians are very well armed too. And they are very aggressive, extremely aggressive. So they attacked the Christian area and they thought, okay, those Christians, they will not do anything. You know, we can do whatever we want. But then the Christians there, they made them shish kebab. Literally. You can watch, you know, and you can go to the, to the news. Like the, the, the PP gun there in Lebanon is, uh, you know, M16. This is the PP gun. It's like, hello. You know? But anyway, I like Chicago's story. Chicago is a war zone. Chicago is a war zone compared to America. You want to see a real war zone? Go to the Middle East. <clears throat> uh, and wherever Islam goes things will go really horrible well you know the Arab Christian they have no choice to either you protect yourself or you will be a puppy for them 
So like if you live in Lebanon, you have to arm yourself, otherwise they will take over you. They have no choice what mindset. It is the place you live in to control what you do. <clears throat> not a single country in the Middle East is not burning as we speak. Not a single country in the Middle East is in peace as we speak in the Middle East. For a very simple reason. Islam. Islam is the problem. Wherever you go, Islam is the problem. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, and I like it when somebody, he never been in those areas, and he want to tell you about what's happening in those areas. How about Kurdistan? It's the same. What Kurdistan? It's the same. Kurdistan now is doing okay because the American there. The second the American leave, the Kurdish, there will be shish kebab. Just wait. And you know, the Kurdish should not trust the American. Nobody should trust the American. Trump, he decided suddenly to take his army and leave the Kurdish so the Turkish can eat them alive. And the Kurdish are no match to fight the Turkish. So the Kurdish right now, they are doing fine. But as soon the American, they leave. And this is the bent in who is the president. This country, America, does not have really a leadership. It had parties. One party go to the right, and one party want to go to the left. So when this party go and win, he demolish everything the other party did. So the Kurdish now, they might not go into bankruptcy, let us say, and be slaughtered by the, the, the Turkish, because Joe Biden, obviously, he don't like the, you know, the Turkish government. Trump, he was, a, he was a puppy. He never said no to the Turkish, never. Obviously, he have a business in Turkey, and he put his business first. They are business people. We don't have really leaders. You know, when I say I vote for Trump, Trump is a corrupt, Biden is a corrupt. All of them, they are a bunch of puppies, and they are not a true leaders. However, we don't have better. Trump still is better than the rest. Uh, <laughs> CP, the countries, we cannot carry guns, how we can protect our children. Well, if you cannot protect, uh, carry guns, well, you carry whatever you can to protect yourself, what you can do. What you can do. Right? You do what you can do. But the coward is the one who do nothing to protect his own family. You see, a coward person, he die 1,000 times a day. A brave man, he die once. Why Shia, they beat themselves in the street? Simply because the Sunni, when they killed the grandsons of Muhammad, the Shia did not come to help and support the grandsons of Muhammad. So they beat themselves for sorrow. The Sunni, they killed the grandsons of Muhammad. Then the Shia did not jump to support the grandsons of Muhammad. So this is why in this occasion, they beat themselves until they bleed. And this is why the hatred between the Sunni and the Shia is impossible to fix. Well, it doesn't matter really who is going to come, Democrat, Hillary Clinton, or anything, the same garbage. And if G if uh, Trump he came back he is, is stupid too I mean Trump is not really good 
but he is better than Joe Biden. At least he can fix the price of fuel and gas and food. But Trump is not really that genius. The only smart thing he did when it's come to politics abroad, it was putting sanctions in Iran. The rest is stupid. Trump, he was not the president of USA during the four years of his presidency. He was a president of Israel. All what he is busy with is how to make the Arab shake hands with the Israeli. That's it. That's why they got him in the election. He was not aware what, what to prepare for him. Zoraida, I just answered. The Shia, they beat themselves because they did not support the grandsons of Muhammad when the Sunni, they killed them. <clears throat> uh, how Muhammad he have a grandson will Muhammad he have a grandson from his stepdaughter however the Shia they believe that Fatima is the only true daughter of Muhammad the rest are stepdaughters so this is what the Shia believed the Shia believe that Fatima is a true daughter of Muhammad and her sons is the grandsons of Muhammad and they worship them the Shia they don't believe that Muhammad and his family they are people like us they believe that they are light from the forehead of Allah and they have a form of a human but they are made of light Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about Trump, but Trump for me, he was really dumb in many, 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 many things. One of them is the Turkish, uh, uh, even with Iran. I mean, the Iranian, they hit back and they injured more than 20 soldiers. And Trump, he act if he heard nothing. You know, this is not how, like this now, the, the, the Republican, they say to you that Joe Biden is not a strong. Well, was uh, Trump strong? what he did with Iran beside the sanction he killed the, the one guy even that one it was for the benefit of Israel in USA we don't have really a true leaders we don't Trump is not a true leader he's a businessman he's a corrupt too he start hiring his daughter his son-in-law and everyone knows that they are corrupt his brother-in-law, Trump, he went in the House, White House, says Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism. Two weeks after, Qatar rented the building of the son-in-law of Trump for 100 years. Have you ever heard of a deal like this? And they paid him a rent for a 100 year in advance. Isn't it obvious that this is a bribe? One billion dollar? From all the buildings in New York, they could not find a building to rent except the building of the son-in-law of Trump. So my friend, when they speak about Joe Biden, his son is a corrupt, Trump is no better. Ivanka, Ivanka, she is a girl, she do fashion. Suddenly she became the consultant. <laughs> what a scam, man. But I know it's hard to share the truth. Uh, uh, a woman she makes shoes and she sells shoes and bags she became the consultant of the most powerful man in the world and her husband is the second consultant I mean who's left what is missing is to hire his son 10 years old and make him consultant too yeah but we you know we have no choice but to vote for Trump because look at those idiot Democrat. Democratic Party is, is a kind of a collection of mental illness ideas. So when we say we want Trump because we don't have better, I mean, <laughs> there's only this or this. So Trump is way better than them still. One million times better. I mean, have you ever heard of a, of a of uh, 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 anyone 
any government they don't want to arrest a thief you go in new york you see people if you if you steal something less than one one thousand dollar they want to arrest you i mean so they go to walmart they grab a bunch of things and they will leave they call the police they said so what we would do it's not it's less than one thousand that's why california is messed up that's why the guy here was saying to you chicago right but still we cannot compare it to the middle east we don't have leaders. We have a bunch of a bunch of idiots. If you are a person is going to come to America, never go to a liberal state. Never. Doesn't matter who you are. Unless you are a thief. Because then you will enjoy it. <clears throat> Take a look. This is one of the beautiful beaches in California. Nobody want to work. <laughs> you know, they say to you homeless, like if you show this, they will say to you American, look, they are poor. This is not true. They, why do they want to work? They got free money, free food, and nobody can kick them, smoke, drink, sex. This is not because this country is poor. They are out of, they, they, they don't have even, you know, like, they cannot even find workers to work. But they don't want to work. This is why liberal states are the most, and not only drugs, look at this, look at this, look at this, zombies. Liberals. And this is a city, 70, uh, no, sorry, 95% or 97% of it is atheist. A zombie city is very well known. Philadelphia. This is what happened with you when you leave your children without the Bible. Here we go. All of them, they are atheist. All of them. Look at this person. Look at this. What is this? Drugs. Oh. I better change this. This is disgusting. I mean, this is. Liberals. 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 They are the same as Muhammad. Anything they touch, they turn it into dust. As simple as that. So if you are a person who got a green card, you want to go to America, I advise you, never go to a state controlled by liberals. Never. Last time I went for the election, you know, you give your ID, etc. So the girl, she want to show me where to go. She said to me, you have an accent. Where are you from? I said, I'm an Arab. Middle East. So it's strange. Usually, Arab and Middle Eastern they vote for Democrat. I said to her, "I'm not stupid." You should see her face. She was Democrat. But to her, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I mean, why want to vote for Democrat? Give give me a reason. Democrat. And nobody, you know, the, the Democrats are the same as Islam. If you don't agree with them, they play victims. Oh, he's racist. He's against the black people. What the black people have to do with the Democrat? Actually, Democrat is the only, the, the party who supports slavery always. They play victim right away. If you don't vote for Biden, you are racist. You are white supremacist. Like, what the heck? They try always to frame you, you know? They are like Muhammad. 
Why are voting for them? We vote for what is right for the Christian. When I vote, I don't vote for them. Who said I vote for them? I said I vote for a Republican. What's wrong with you? When I vote for Republican, I'm voting against abortion, against everything which is not, I don't agree with. As a Christian, I'm not voting for Trump. I'm voting for what I believe. Anyway. Steve saying there's no thing is called Arab Christian. That is not true. That's false. You are you are wrong, my friend. Arab Christians are exist. There's a huge tribes and even kingdoms. As an example, Al Ghassasina and Al Manadira, both are Arab Christians, and they are huge kingdoms, and they used to have armies of hundreds of thousands. Not only that, all the 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 most important poetry in the history of Arabia is written by Arab Christian specifically. All of it. So when you say there's no, I think I was called Arab Christian, that is because of your ignorance. Again, Arab Christian is not an ethnic. Arab is people who live in the desert. And the word Arab mean desert. The word Arab or Arabia, it's a desert. It's a word mean desert. It's not a name of a desert. This is an Aramaic word, mean desert. So the Arabian is those who live in the desert. So if you say there's no Arab Christians, you are absolutely out of touch. Uh, Many people think still until now that the word Arab is an ethnic. The word Arab is not an ethnic, and we have to repeat that nonstop. You go to your church, even they say to you more stupid things because your priest is ignorant. They say to you that the Muslims are Ishmaelist from Ishmael. The priest who said that to you, you better correct him, otherwise he will stay donkey for the rest of his life. The Old Testament says it clearly that Hajar, she took her son and she married him to an Egyptian woman. So how the Ishmael the Ishmael asked is is the sons of the Arab? Is Egypt is the land of the Arab? But you know, copy paste. <clears throat> oh. Somebody is saying why Christians they hate Muslims so much. In the middle of no the night. You are just a fraud, like your prophet. It is the opposite. It is us who love Muslims very much. It is you who hate us very much. To the point your Quran says in chapter 9, verse 29, kill the Christians, kill the Jews. Do you see any Christian says kill the Muslims? No. Do you see any Muslim says kill the Christians? All of them agree. The Quran says so. So you are a hypocrite liar. This is what they do. They are the same as Democrat. They kill you and they go on your funeral. And they play victims. Suddenly, we are the one who hate the Muslims. It's not their book says kill the Christians and the Jews and take their women. And humiliate them. It's us. You see the hypocrisy? This cult is the satanic cult. You know, when the gang, they kill the guy and they send the flower to his wife, that is Islam. The gang leader, he sent the flower to the wife. And he might attend the funeral. And he will be wearing sunglasses and he is sad. I wish I know who killed him. What a potato. In chapter 5, verse 51 says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. In chapter 5, verse 14 says, Allah will spread hatred between the Christians. And then the guy, he speak about hate. Islam is against hate, brother. We Muslim, we don't support hate. Islam is a pure hateful religion. Love is only exist in Christianity. The only one in the history of mankind. 
who said, love your enemy as Jesus the Christ. The only one. So how you lie in our face saying that we hate the Muslims? If I search right now videos made by Muslims about fighting the infidels and killing non-Muslims, I will find millions. If I search now for how many videos, beheading videos, of a Christian be hidden a Muslim, I will find zero. But if I search how many videos of Muslim be hidden a Christian, I will find endless number. Your ugliness goes so far to the point you are proud about your crime. You don't even ashamed of it. But this is what they do always in YouTube. You know, they try to play victims. We are the good ones, you are the bad ones. Half of the wives of Muhammad are kidnapped from the Christians and the Jews. He raped them, he forced them into sex. Exactly. Islam nation, he is telling you the truth. Being not Muslim, you are against Allah. But Islam, this is this is telling me that your God is a stupid God because he don't understand reality. That you Muslims cannot survive without the Christians. Right now, Emirat is asking Israel and America to step to defend their cities. They are not asking Allah for protection. So if the Quran knew the future, he should know better that the Muslims, they need the Christians and they cannot even protect their own Kaaba. So your God is an idiot. He taught hate and he left you die with your hate. If the America right now, they take their hand away from the Middle East, the Iranian, the Persian, they will eat you alive. And you know it very well. And all those Sunni in the Middle East, they will be forced to become a Shia. As, as simple as that, in one day. As an example right now, the number of Sunni in Iraq is shrinking every year, an average of one to 2%. So in 20, 25 years from now, Iraq will be 100% Shia. No Muslim Sunni left. When you are going to call Hamza to embrace him, I don't know who is Hamza. However, give me his Skype, I will call him. And we do not need to embrace him. This guy is sitting underwear of women. It's embarrassing for him to be doing that business. A man who is a man, he will not open a store to sell women clothing. That is not a good business for a man, especially if he's a Muslim. He should have a woman selling the clothes for women, not a man. Did you ask yourself what kind of a dawah guy he is? He opened a store, only the customers are women. Is he embracing you by selling hijab to women? Can't he hire a woman to be talking to women? Why he is sitting there? Ah, he want to talk to women. I'm really impressed with the business. What is missing is to put underwears in the display. And those who claim that they are people who can refute us, here we go, give us your Skype, I will call you. Stop crying like a puppy. What do you mean, women? Well, a Muslim guy, he is not allowed to speak to a foreign Muslim woman. So when you open a store, you should have a woman working in the store so she can talk to women. This is what I mean. If you are slow, change your oil.
Anything else? I think this Christian Prince guy is insecure. Notice how he is too scared to address Drax. Well, I'm too scared to address Drax because I don't know who's Drax. And I just said 1,000 times, if I can address your God, Allah, and make shish kebab of your prophet, so who is Drax? Don't you see I'm making your God himself shish kebab? Who is this guy, Drax? He's not addressing Drax. What Drax can do for a living? What is that? Bully religion. Does the Quran chapter 1 verse number 1 prove Trinity or just names of Allah? Well, the, the verse number 1 in chapter number 1 prove nothing except that Muhammad is a thief. Because if Allah have three names, why Allah did not mention those three names from the beginning? Because the first time the, the word Ar-Rahman mentioned, it was almost after Muhammad he passed half of his life as a prophet. If you go in the Quran, you will find the following. When Muhammad he mentioned the word Rahman first time, the Arab they thought that he had now a new God. Why? Because he never ever mentioned the name of our Rahman ever. So they ask him, who is a Rahman? You have two gods now? Look what he said. Say, O Muhammad, I invoke Allah or I invoke a Rahman. Whatever name I invoke him, all the best names belong to Allah. So here you need to ask yourself, did Allah forget for the first 10, 12, 13 years of Muhammad's life to mention that his name is a Rahman? Are you getting my point? Where was the name of Ar-Rahman? Shouldn't Allah Ar-Rahman, he mentioned Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim from the first verse in the Quran? So he waited half century and then he decided to tell Muhammad that my name is Ar-Rahman? Muhammad, he, he received a letter from a guy, his name is Rahman al -Yamama. And he responded to him, he says, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. The Arab, they said to him, well, who is Ar-Rahman? The Rax, you are just a girl, and Islam does not allow you to mix with men. Just get out. Are you talking to us from behind the curtain? or under the curtain. Isn't it your prophet, he says, Naqisatu Aqlin Wadeen? Isn't it you, the one who called me, and we have you recorded, and people laugh at you? And you are coming back? Isn't it this is your prophet, he says, that women have half a brain, and they are stupid? So if you are defending Islam, you are defending that you are stupid, you won. I agree, you are. But doesn't mean all women are stupid. Those who believe in Islam are stupid. According to your prophet, women are stupid because they have their period. And you agree, don't you? I dare you to say I don't. A woman, she tried to argue with Muhammad. He said to him, what is the lack of our wisdom? What's the problem? Why we, are, why we have the deficiency in our wisdom? He said to her, okay, okay, hold on. Isn't it true that isn't it the evidence in the Quran that one man is equal to two? He said, yes. Is it, isn't it true that you don't fast the same as we fast? He said, yes. He said, this is your deficiency. <laughs> because you have your menstruation. Can you believe it?
So he forbid them from fasting when they have their menstruation, and now they will go to hell because he forbid them from fasting when they have menstruation. Can you believe the stupidity? So don't bring me a Muslim woman here, please. Bring me men. A Muslim woman, she want to defend this. She is already agreeing that she is a stupid. She is no match. And as you see, this is authentic. This is not, you know, uh, they, they can't play the game of da'if and the garbage, you know? According to Muhammad, most of women, they are going to go to hell. Why? Because they have menstruation, brother. They are half a brain. And the funny Muhammad, he said to them, uh, pay alms, pay alms. You will go to hell. The women, they start giving him their rings. This is the whole idea. He want to take their bracelet, their rings. Look, all of this repeated. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, all the garbage. You have a deficiency in your brain. You have deficiency in your religion. And look how brave they are. I mean, how a, how a human being, he will say such a thing to his mother. I want you Muslims to make a print of this hadith and put it in the top of the bed of your mother. I challenge you. And you, you print this. This is the deficiency in your intelligence. And this is the deficiency in your religion. I want you to print it, put it in a frame, and say the Holy Prophet says so. Are you ashamed of it? Mr. Ritoro, obviously he's, re he's retarded. He says, yes, most of women, they will go to hell. Well, Mr. Ritoro, obviously your prophet is a stupid. Isn't it your prophet? He promised you each man, he will have 72 women in heaven at least. So how the most of women, they will go to hell if the majority of people of hell, they will have to be women then. Because the ratio of men to women is 72 to one at least. Your prophet is mental. Yes, brother, the majority of women, they will go to hell. I'm so glad. So you think because you have little penis, hardly we can see it. This is why you spend two hours to find it when you go in the bathroom. You will go to heaven because you have a penis? This is a man-made religion, made for the man. You do not need to be genius. In this religion, according to this religion, if you have a penis, you are, you are, you are good for God. If you don't have a penis, you go to hell. Well, the Israeli made you lose your penis long time ago. Prove me wrong. Penis God. I mean, what kind of a stupid religion? If a woman she have the women she have deficiency in her religion because she have menstruation, isn't it you who make her have menstruation? I mean, who is the donkey is talking? If menstruation is bad, and you are the one who caused it, and now she is guilty because of what you cause, or isn't you who created her? And all of you Muslim men, you have menstruation. This is why you say you want to call me face, you debate me face to face. This is your menstruation. Any Abdul? This is a God who favored the penis. What Jesus said, he said, she and he, he, she and he, they will be like angels. So a man in heaven, he will not be better than women. A woman in heaven, she will not be better than a man. All of us, we are children of God. And if not the women, 
men are not exist so stop being stupid if you are so proud about yourself well you are born of a, of a woman you are coming from her private part so if her private part is a problem you are one of the menstruation of the woman you came from there this is how silly this cult is Where you Muhammad he came from? He came from here, though his mother ears. Did she give birth to him with the blood too? Did that make Muhammad dirty and have deficiency? What a garbage cult. Any anyone who don't who look at women down. He didn't understand that God, because he loves us, because he loved us as a human, he created Adam and Eve, so Adam will not be alone. And Eve is not created from out space. Actually, the Bible in the beginning, it's called both. Adam and Eve called them Adam. Both. Eve is Adam too. Or Adam mean a human. <sighs> um, anything else? And anyway, I challenge any Muslim. This is an honest challenge. If you really have the courage to print this and put it in the in the top of your mother bed. If you don't, it means you are not proud about your prophet statement. I want you to teach your mother that she has deficiency. And she's a stupid. And she will go to hell. Uh, Christian. Uh, uh, this is Lydia, you know, she came back, she's an idiot. Uh, obviously, you do not know the Bible. No, there is a Christian, there's women who they prophesy in the Bible. And the Bible, even Paul, he mentioned that. So you are ignorant in the Bible. The Bible we have, book is it's called the Book of Judges, speaking about women, who they are judges. We have women who they are prophets. You can go right now, search in Google. You are just as stupid, Lydia. Don't come here again. They are very rude and very stupid. It takes you two seconds to find the answer in Google, but you are an idiot lazy who claim to be a Christian. No, block her. Anytime this woman, she come here, block her. I don't want her. She's a fake Christian. Uh, actually, the most respect was given to women, it was Mary. For God himself, he chose to come through a woman. What more respect can be given to a woman more than this? If God, he think about women bad and down, then how the Lord himself is born of a woman? Do you understand? If women are evil, if women are bad, if women are disgusting, if women, etc., then how your Lord, the one you worship, is born of a woman? So nobody gave respect to women as much as Jesus did by act and by doing. Uh, yeah, I am in fire actually because I have headache. <laughs> actually, I throw up before I go live, but I said, you know what? Doing what I need to do is better than okay. So I feel not. I don't feel good. But I feel better now. The Lord is, you know, is good. But uh, I throw up all the food I eat. I don't know what happened. 
Uh, all right. Anything else? Exactly, Amelia. The Lord, He said, He taught He taught the men to love the women the same as a Christ. He loved the church. So. Christ, he made the women equal to the church. The church is holy for us. Uh, <laughs> my food did not come from Khaybar. No, you see, I don't eat in restaurants. I eat only a restaurant if I am traveling. I never eat in a restaurant in a place I live in. I don't know a single restaurant in my town. And I will never eat in a restaurant. But if I'm traveling, you know, I have no choice. You know, you have to buy a sandwich, etc. Yeah, so it cannot be a food. I mean, it might be. I don't know. Maybe it's damaged or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's not. We cannot blame the Jews, right? Unless you are a Mohammedan, then you have to blame the Jews for everything. Can you spank my sheikh? Sure. Let your sheikh give him me his Skype and I will call him. What is my favorite food? Ah, you want me to tell you so you will put the poison for me as a Jewish woman did. <laughs> nice trick, nice trick. And then you go to Walmart and you buy rat poison. I get it. <laughs> Do you eat salad? A salad is my favorite food, actually. I love tomato and whatever come with it. Oh, yes, I eat salad a lot. Anything else? I think because it's cold, we have a huge storm in USA now. It's crazy, it's a big, big storm, impacting most of the state. We will go to the Bible study soon. Um, um, I will see when which day we will start. You know, uh, but maybe in a few days from now. You eat biryani? Oh. Well, you see the... The food is not really important. The food is made to survive, not to live for it. <laughs> But you know, some people they live for food, they die for it, and then they die because of it. All right? Uh, thank you, Dragon. But maybe I'm going to have uh, some kind of uh, flu or something because I'm a little bit coughing. Actually, I'm wearing a jacket now, which I'm not used to do. Uh, but like if someone in public asks if you are CP, do you just tell them? I am sure that is a scary in some ways. Well, it happened to me. I was once in the Philippines and I was in a coffee shop. And there was a guy, he had a Bible in front of him. He was taking notes. So, you know, I said, let me have, a, obviously, he looked like he's a Christian. So I said to myself, let me have a conversation with this uh, brother. So I said to him, so what are you studying? And, you know, he told me the Bible. And, you know, we start talking. And then he said, I know your voice. <laughs> he said, you do? 
it's, I heard this voice before. So really, he said, and then he start, and then he says to me, are you Christian Prince? You should see what he said, you know, like he was. I said, maybe. What? You know? <laughs> and then he called his wife and he said, guess who is here? She said to him, what? He said, please guess, guess who is here with me right now in the table. She said, don't tell me Christian Prince. I could not believe it. You know, it was like a candy camera. I said, this is set up. How in the world the wife she knew that this is a Christian Prince? I was like, what? Because he put her in a speaker. He said, yes, this is a Christian Prince. He said to him, you are close in your mind. You talk about him in the morning, you talk about him at night, you keep watching his videos, and now you think he's with you. He said, honest to God, he is with me. <laughs> That's why she guessed that he's going to say Christian Prince. He said, who, Christian Prince? <laughs> And then I, he said, talk, 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 say something. I said, like, we'll say what? He said, yeah, yeah, just like now, say, say anything. Did you hear him? She said, I heard little what, what he's, so I talk, I said, hello. She said, this is a joke. I said, how are you doing? I said, so you are really a Christian prince? I said, yeah. Said, what? You know? <laughs> And then he explained to me because he gave her a headache and she complained because he kept talking. Did you see what Christian Prince said? Did you see what he did? Did you watch this video? So she said to him, okay, I know who is with you now. Must be Christian Prince. Yeah, <clears throat> it was a nice thing, actually. <clears throat> Once I did a seminar in the Philippines too, the, we have like a break from the seminar or I don't I think the break or the end anyway like we are not talking in the stage no more and two girls they came and I was shaking hands with people you know introducing themselves and there's two girls that are waiting for people to slow down coming to me and then I said uh, yes how I can help you you know she said I have a question I said what I said, are you Christian Prince <laughs> because they don't introduce me as a Christian Prince you know yeah I said, uh, maybe. She said, see, I told you, this is his voice. She, so, so her and the other girl, they were saying, she told her this is a Christian prince. She said, no. You know? She said, no, this is him. So after, you know, I finished talking, they come to me and they were like, they want to check. And she said, see, I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking, actually. I hope I will not have a bad flu. Uh, yeah, you can, you know, I mean, you can deny who you are, but your voice is, uh, is a fingerprint. What was my seminar about? You can guess. I think it was about geology. What I would do a seminar about, about is now. Any question? Anyone? Thank you for the prayer. But you know, I'm not doing more seminars because, uh, you know, to prepare for a seminar, it takes them a few months, it takes a lot of money. Uh, I have to pay for a hotel and uh, especially if I'm going to a poor country, I don't let them pay even a penny. Uh, it takes too much work, you know. Uh, look, now we are here. We have a thousand thirty people. There's no need to prepare for a seminar. We have a seminar. Right? <clears throat>
Um, <clears throat> and you know, like there is really, there is wonderful Christians. They, those are the ones who invited me. Um, but I notice always it's hard to present somebody to speak about Islam in a church because the topic is filthy. So, and because I don't sugarcoat things. You know, so when they present me to talk about the topic, the guy will, the priest, or let's say the, uh, the minister of the church, he will stand in the stage, he will say, um, today our guest is kind of a different kind of teacher. You know, he's trying like to explain to them the disaster is going to happen. You know what I mean? Like preparing them for the, <laughs> you know, like he is kind of a different, and like, you know, I'm saying to myself, by the time he present. What I will say, the people will leave because it's scaring the hell of them. He is he kind of like, he is not like the ones we used to hear, like you don't sugarcoat things. So you might hear from him some things maybe you don't like or don't use to hear before, like blah, 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 you know. And I was saying to myself, give me the microphone before they leave, man. Like they will, they will go out. If you continue talking like this, people will leave, you know. So like what what this guy will talk about like people looking at each other what will happen now what is this you know yeah so like you know prepare yourself he is not like the average normal <clears throat> you know he is a straightforward you know and then I could not take it this guy because he 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 make it too much so I went to the stage I said I think it's time for me to talk now I guess right it's time for <laughs> he said this is exactly what I'm telling you you see. <laughs> Let me introduce for you our brother here. Yeah. And then, you know, after we start talking, always most of those churches, they were afraid that people will not really have a good reception for the topic. But what happened always is the opposite. Each time I go to a church, I get invited by 10 more churches. Because what they do in the seminar, they invite ministers from other churches. So the second I go down from the stage, I'm done. I got right away invitation. We, we can have you to come to our church. What date? Can we preserve it for this Sunday or this, etc.? Yeah. So in the beginning, in the beginning, people, they will be like uh, worry, uh, you know, not sure, you know, because they don't know me much really. But then after, people love it. First, it's a comedy. You will see people dying from laughing. You know, uh, nobody is uh, yawning, nobody is sleeping, not like in normal seminars, because this is a real comedy. Especially I am like in person there, you know. In Australia, going to be your coming seminar? Well, if you invite me to your church, I will go. Right? I have no problem. Actually, once we went to a seminar, and then they did not let me go. They don't want to let me go, so I have to stay the second day. I lost my uh, airplane ticket. They said, we will pay for the ticket uh, to, for you. Uh, because supposedly we have to leave. Like I have, I, They told me you can talk for, I don't know, like in 45 minutes, something like that. Then the 45 minutes became two hours, became, the two hours became three hours. I mean, you know, that's endless. So, and I, told, I said to me, don't worry about the ticket, we will buy you one. Yeah. <clears throat> what about Canada? I don't know. I think Canada is not a friendly country to talk about this topic, is it? You have liberals controlling the country right now. Get me some conservative, I will go. No, you know, for me, I, I'm, I'm not worried about anyone. You see, I went, I went to a city. I don't know how many Filipinos here. There's any Filipinos? I went to a city. It's called Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines. You enter the airport, you are with ISIS. The mosque is in the corner, in the airport itself. The flag of ISIS is 50 meters away from the airport. You can ask any Filipinos. They told me, don't go there. This is where terrorists are all over. And actually, not long after, ISIS took over of a city very close to it. It's called Marawi. I don't know if you heard the news. 
And it took the Filipino army, I think, more than a month to take back the town. So they told me, don't go there. This is a lot of terrorists there, you know. And when I arrived to the airport, I found a bunch of Christians, brothers, and they are heavily armed, you know, to protect me. It's like, a, you know, bodyguards. They were nervous. I was not. You know, I trust my Lord. I go. I don't, you know, I'm not really worried. But for them, they were very worried. Uh, and it was a very nice seminar, actually. I have some pictures, actually, of the seminar. You know? <clears throat> Philippines will become an atheist country anytime soon? That is impossible, because if you know the Filipinos, you know that this is not true. <clears throat> Filipinos, you know, uh, Filipinos are uh, religious people, and for sure there's good things about good things about every nation. But Filipinos are very nice people, very kind. They have they are good-hearted people, and they are religious. So when you say they will become atheist, I believe this is maybe one of the last countries in the world to become an atheist. Um, it's hard to follow the comments. Where is Actually, in the Philippines, I have many, many nice friends, and they are some of them. They are famous. Maybe some of you know them. I, I don't know if uh, Filipinos here they knew Mary Kiyamo. How many of you know know uh, Brother Mary? Mary Kiyamo is an actor, and he is a TV host. And I was invited through him to the Seven Hundred Club in the Philippines, and I recorded a program with them. I'm sure the Filipinos here they knew what who I'm talking about. Very nice people. <laughs> Last time I went to the Philippines, I met with the many senators. I went with the foreign minister. I met with the founder of the Constitution of the Philippines. He is the vice president of the senators. I, I met with his son. He is a senator now. And he is a vice president of the senator too, which means his father was before him. Uh, I met with the spoken, the, uh, the, the spokesman of the president, Duterte. Uh, he's a spokesman. I mean, I met with many, many important people. Because at that time they were discussing uh, the peace agreement with the Muslims in the south of the uh, Philippines. And I went there for consulting. Uh, anyway. Can you talk about evil prime minister of Canada? You know, I mean, I, I, what I will talk about the prime minister of a country, you should talk about the country first, because who is the one who elect this stupid prime minister? Don't complain. You see, in America, we have two parties, right? And they are fighting over majority. And the second you join a party, we know who you are, what you think. As an example, if you join a Democrat, that's mean you support homosexuality, uh, abortion. Uh, you support many things against Christianity. If you join the Republican, it's the opposite. But in Canada, why someone like this guy, he became a prime minister? I didn't find a reason. I mean, what is the qualification? So obviously Canadian, with my respect to all Canadian, 
they are not educated because when you choose a ruler the ruler should have a qualification and obviously these days the ruler is a person who can do fashion show not a smart intelligent strong if you are good looking they will vote for you if you are not they will not <laughs> and this is telling you how bad the education of the nation what is the qualification of the person how in the world this guy became a prime minister so don't blame him blame yourself where you been in the election you see now let us say that Biden, he won the election. He did not steal it. So the American, they cannot complain. If you voted for this idiot, get ready and have fun. The price of gas is three times more. Price of food, four times more. Inflation is quite crazy. Price of housing, rent is so crazy. Have fun. In the Middle East, we say, there's a statement in Arabic, it says, your mouth blow in it and your hand tie it up. This is about two people when across the river. And in order to cross the river, which have a strong current, they have to use leather and they put inside it air, you know, to float. So each one of them, he put air in it and he tie it up. So in the middle of the river, one of them, he says, my float is leaking air. I will drown. The guy next to him, he says, what I can do to you? It is your mouth who blow it and your hands who tied it down. So don't complain. You give the power to the liberals, then don't complain for what the liberals do. Liberals, whatever they touch will destroy. <clears throat> The guy who attacked the synagogue yesterday, the liberals start defending him. This guy, he's under stress. He's suffering from mental illness. You know? Each time a Muslim, he do a terrorist attack, the first one who stand to defend him is the liberals. Uh, straight... Warring straight. I don't know how to say your name, my friend. Straight. I say straight, whatever your name. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. <clears throat> you know, when Biden he caught what Muhammad said, can't, can't you tell that mean that Biden is an evil man? All what he cares is to win the election. We needed the little vote of uh, Muslims in Michigan. They are not really too many, but he wanted them. He caught what Muhammad said. But what, what Muhammad said is a terrorist quote. They are the same, my friend. If there's any Chinese horrible, horrible store, I don't know. I don't go to stores. Um. Anyway, my friend, uh, we as a Christian, we should not complain and don't do action. If you say something not right, then fix it. So when there is an election, that's why I don't like those Christian priests who say we don't involve with politics. And then they cry what's happening so your duty as a christian to stand against evil it doesn't matter who is the one who you are standing against if somebody want to support abortion you go vote against it so the first thing you do you don't vote for a person you vote for what he is supporting so if he support abortion you vote against him his name is trump his name is joe biden who care You know what I mean? So always stand with what is right. 
not with a person. Uh, what do you think of any, if any Habib of Islam very friendly to Christians? First of all, all those they call themselves Habib, they are a scam because none of them is from the children of Muhammad. Zero. It's a scam. And scam people do what scam people do. Don't worry guys about my me. I will be fine. I hope by the morning will be fine. I don't get sick really. I very rarely. I mean last time I get sick, God knows when. So it's okay to get sick once in a while. We cannot complain. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> You know, you see those liberals, they defend uh, animal rights, right? But they want to kill babies. You know, what, what's wrong with this? Uh, what kind of mentality you have? You know, this is because of selfishness. People, they want to just go have sex. And then they don't want to be responsible for their act. That's the whole story. Even cats don't kill their babies. Cats. And you know, if a woman, she get rid of her child, trust me, she will live in pain for the rest of her life. You might think it's just, okay, well, so I mean, what, what will happen? He's not even born. But you will see the consequence. You will be in pain. You cannot forgive yourself, even if you are an atheist. Why Jesus says, why you call me good? He was asking the person, how you know I am good? Because Jesus later, he says, I am the good shepherd. So Jesus, when he said, why you call me good when only God is good? But Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. So he is the good God. Always when you want to understand what Jesus said, you don't take a sentence and you forget about the rest. Unless you are just trying to play games. Like if I say to you, why you call me smart? Only God is smart. And then after two minutes, I, I say to you, I'm the smart one. <laughs> Can you say anything good about Islam? My friend, there's nothing good in good in lies. Lies is lies. But always lies have to be mixed with some, you know, the same as poison. If somebody want to kill somebody, do he put the poison in the toilet seat? No. He put it in a dish. And usually in a dish, you favor. Like the Jewish woman, when she put the poison for Muhammad, she put it in the shoulder of the goat, which Muhammad like. So if somebody want to poison you, he will put it, his poison, in the best food you like. This is why Muhammad, he says, I believe in Mary, that she was virgin. He will go, this is good. That's very good. Hmm? I believe in Moses. That's very good. The rest is garbage. Any other question? <clears throat> 